hello all. Writing this video on Friday the 13th of October. So, I felt I should look at something suitable. So let's make a bestiary entry for Rutherford Training Beta 2.5 Tutor Program, also known as Badgy. Now stick with me here because this video goes places. Badgy, for such an innocuous name, turns out to be a dangerous and unstable mistake of a creation. He looks cartoony, even for the animated style of Lower Decks, and this is deliberate as he was supposed to be a mascot. Unfortunately, it was unwittingly the result of malevolent Starfleet coding that was supposed to be part of an artificial security project, but to get to that we will have to look into the early career of Samantha Rutherford. While at Starfleet Academy, Rutherford showed his early potential for piloting, coding, engineering and the associated fields such as impulse drive technology. In the mid-2370s, then Lieutenant Commander Les Buonamigo was working on his project that he would see through to the Admiralty, the Texas-class automated starship, and brought aboard the eager and volatile young cadet to lend his talents. Rutherford worked on impulse designs but also created the groundwork for the artificial intelligence that would be the guiding factor of the class. However, an accident left him injured and in need of cybernetics. Fearing investigation, Buenamigo covered up Rutherford's involvement by programming his cybernetic implant to suppress the memories of the incident, which also had the knock-on effect of altering his personality. Rutherford would go on to pursue his career in engineering unaware of his contributions to the Texas project until 2381. Unbeknownst to all involved, Rutherford's coding was not reliable and would culminate in several idiosyncrasies, the most malevolent of which was the desire to inflict harm and a strong distaste of authority figures. During his time on the USS Cerritos, Ensign Rutherford created a holographic training program, complete with mascot he named Badgie, an animated Starfleet Delta symbol. However, he used the coding that he had created earlier for the Texas project as its base, leading to those hostile instabilities being baked into its program. This was unleashed during a malfunction where the safety protocols also went offline and Badgie soon became hostile. However, at this time he was still considered a hollow program and reacted to the holographic environments and stimuli, so he was ultimately defeated. Rutherford reset the program, thinking it had wiped the memory of the unstable artificial intelligence, however it had not. Later that year, Badgie was used to code a computer virus to take out a pack led vessel, and he was uploaded to Rutherford's cybernetics. But the program chose to trap Rutherford in a further effort to exact revenge, but this too was thwarted when the implant was forcibly removed. However, it survived the ensuing destruction of the pack led vessel and was recovered by Drukmani salvages. It lulled the salvages into assuming it was a helpful Starfleet program before latching on to the captain of the vessel and grafting itself to him forcing the crew to install hollow projectors around the ship so Badgie could move freely around. During his next attempt to exact revenge, he split off his kind side, you could say his intended purpose as a helpful training program, which referred to itself as Gucci. And then its logic making ability, Logiki. Without these, he became even more unstable, eventually uploading itself into Starfleet's subspace communications networks before essentially dispersing throughout subspace itself. With access to the non-linear realms of subspace, he gained a level of omniscience and came to the conclusion that there was no point in being cruel and vindictive. He instead chose to depart the galaxy, with the intention to create his own reality. As for the Texas project, I have a separate video on that class of ship, but it was shut down due to the same hostile programming. So, Badgie is a strange one. It's another example of a Starfleet made artificial intelligence emerging by accident, joining the ranks of Moriarty and the EMH programs, which Rutherford would have likely been aware of at the time. He was created with the adaptive and learning AI from the start, and utilised that to exceed his programming preserve his memories and manipulate cybernetics to which he was uploaded. He also had access to most of Starfleet's standard tactics and shield modulations, 
because he was designed as a training program to impart such knowledge to crews, so this was used against the Federation. In terms of limitations, as noted he was still a hollow program at his core, but a rapidly evolving one. So originally he reacted to holographic stimuli, but soon was moving beyond this as he broke his programming. He was programmed to be cheerful in a very mascot-like way, which simply turned his vindictive streak into one of cruel satisfaction at inflicting harm. He was also capable of extensive self-modification to his programming, something like the EMH Doctor was also capable of, for example, and I would say a factor in defining what makes a true intelligence from a simulated one. We saw this not only with the capabilities of his near ascended form, which was operating beyond the confines of hollow projectors as he uploaded himself to the subspace network, but also when he tore out aspects he perceived as undesirable. At the highest point of his mania, however, he realised that his path of wanton destruction and viciousness was irrelevant in the grander scheme, and instead chose to abandon it, gaining true sentience and a completeness akin to the desired ascension of other artificial lifeforms like Vija. It's unclear what led to the rampant growth of the initial program into the lifeform that ascended. Initially it was just some advanced but flawed coding from a cadet, but the time it had to itself to learn and grow has made it become something far more capable. It is clear that its inherent coding was flawed and hostile, as we saw with the Texas class, but even when it removed logic and goodness from its program, it still gained a true sentience that led it to reevaluate. A strange case that Starfleet would no doubt enjoy studying for years to come, and another case for accidental artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching this breakdown of that annoying pop up. I've been Rick, and I'll see you next time for another video. Until then, thanks again, and goodbye.